In this video, we're going to show you how you can use the event system to start ADC conversions. This use case follows on from the windowed sample started with the RTC callback. So, uh, looking at the ADC use cases, the windowed ADC on RTC overflow is the starting point of this video. These use case instructions here assume that uh, the above use case has been implemented. This is the behavior of the application that I have working. And I have ADC samples only in a window. And if we look at the code, we have an RTC registration of a callback where we start a conversion on a specific channel. Then when we have a criteria satisfying a window, a window callback is triggered and we get the ADC conversion result. Now what we're going to do is use the event system to start an ADC conversion instead of using the RTC callback. So the two things that need to change on the ADC is that here we start a conversion on a specific channel. We haven't specified a default channel, so we should do that on the same as it is here because it will just start a conversion but not specify a channel. We also specify start event input enable. On the RTC side, we will disable the overflow interrupt because we're going to use the RTC overflow but we don't use interrupts when we're using events. The code, we're going to delete the registration of the callback and the callback itself. Now under drivers we'll add the event system TC overflow, channel zero, start an ADC conversion. Okay. Yeah, now we're going to generate a program. We can see the programming happening, but our application behavior is the same. Now using events. <laughs> 